Hi, today we are going to talk about prefabs. Wave maker prefabs are components just like UI widgets that can be drag and dropped into the design canvas. Once installed, prefabs can be reused across applications. They can be configured either through the properties they expose or through code. So what exactly is a prefab? It is an independently testable application that can be stacked up to build newer apps. It consists of user interface which implements client-side logic and a business layer which implements the server-side logic. These two components are connected via REST API calls. APIs have their own set of complexities with respect to authentication, signature, parameters, security, etc. which may be overwhelming for a business developer. Prefabs abstract these complexities and provide a simple interface to the users. For example, in the Google Maps prefabs shipped with WaveMaker Studio, observe that the location coordinates parameter of the Google Map API has been made as a simple properties box accepting inputs to display the area map. The developer community or partners build prefabs and install them in the soon to be released WaveMaker App Store. The app builder communities use these prefabs by a simple drag and drop operation and use them as any other widget of WaveMaker Studio. For example, consider a user management application with four simple features. View corporate user directory, view user profile, add user and delete user. For security reasons, add and delete user functionality needs to be hidden from the app user. A sample UI for the above mentioned requirements is shown in this slide. This can be achieved via the user management prefab. The user management prefab will expose these features via API calls. The APIs corresponding to add and delete user will not be shared with the prefab users. This can be done using our API designer. In this slide we show the structural breakdown of the user management prefab. Note that the packaging of a prefab as user management dot prefab dot zip. Prefab dot XML will contain the configuration details and the prefab dot zip contains the actual prefab contents. Multiple applications can use the same set of prefabs. For example, here we have two apps event management and new higher onboarding both of which use the same set of four prefabs task management workflows notifications and user management once we have a matured prefab ecosystem we can wonder how applications can be built as stackable layers wavemaker intends to enable its users to build a fully functional application just by dragging and dropping relevant services these services are created as prefabs and stacked together to form the target application. Note that a prefab can contain another prefab within itself thereby creating tiers of layered apps. As of today, when the studio application is deployed, along with the platform stack, the set of prefabs used by the application is deployed onto one container. The platform stack contains the details pertaining to the software dependencies, in this case the open source Java stack required by any studio application. Once deployed, an active container with the WayMaker Studio application along with the platform stack container is activated. Soon, WayMaker will enable microservices architected apps to be developed and deployed. Using microservices architecture, complex applications are split into small independent services each communicating with other through APIs. Each microservice can be designed as a prefab since the features of prefabs are more or less similar to microservices. When prefabs are deployed as a microservice, each prefab can be deployed into its own container so that in future if there is a need to scale up a particular microservice or prefab we can do that by adding more containers to that service. This is called horizontal scalability. We have thus looked at the basic aspects of prefabs. We hope you agree with us on the immense potential that prefabs hold to change the way we build applications. 
Thank you for watching this presentation.